One of the great stories of public health has occurred here in North America in the last 100 years. In 1910, here in the United States, the average lifespan of an American was 51. In 2010, a century later, it's 80. So an increase of almost 30 years in only a century in the general population. If you have bipolar disorder in Canada or the United States in 2015, your average lifespan is age 59. I mean, that just hits at home. And the gap between the general population and those who are affected by complex and serious brain illnesses is growing and growing. And this is driven not by suicide. This is driven largely by medical causes, because the suicide rates have remained consistent. And in fact, in some studies, we're seeing a slight uptick in mortality due to cardiovascular causes. So that is one reason to alert us to the importance of this topic, but not the only reason. There's other reasons as well. And it relates to this slide. And I had shown this slide very briefly this morning. And I had made the, the point, which I want to revisit, that studies that we have published in psychiatry today consistently identify the following. That if you have obesity and you have a mood disorder, you are more likely to have a chronic illness. You're more likely to have relapse and recurrence. You may not respond as well to medication. And we also know you have more cognitive impairment. That observation is not without our interest clinically, because that begs, I think, interventions around weight management, lifestyle, and so on. Patients are always saying, how can I think better? How can I focus better? My patient said to me one, once that my uh, Pentium chip in my head has turned into a Commodore 64. <laughs> and so we want people to be able to cognitively engage.